All right, guys, so now I got that dragon pickaxe last episode in episode 8 sitting right there looking beautiful. You'd think I'd go mining like crazy, but no, I'm thinking I got a lot of alkables to do. So I'm going to do some agility and just alk all the stuff. And I'll probably get an agility level doing this because I just got a ton to do. All of this stuff is pretty close to... Uh, ALK price and tradable price. So we'll kind of get a little estimate. It'll be more or less. It just depends. Some of the stuff is over ALK price in the GE and some of it's like 2k under. So we'll go ahead and check this out. We'll estimate to the ALK prices. So I've got about 8.8 .8 million in ALKables. Like give or take a mil. I mean, maybe, like, it could be, I think I'm going to get, like, 8 mil in alkables, if not 9 mil, because it's somewhere in between the two. Some of it's over GE price, some of it's under. Oh, us buddy may be wrong. Let's say minimum 7 mil. So I'm going to be making bank, and this is great because it's going to be really good for construction. And also, my cash stack is so weak, um, so hopefully I'll get that 10 mil cash stack back. I just haven't been alking things, and that's my fault. But yeah, we that's what we're going to do. Um, I may take a break to raid with some friends. I'm not very sure. But basically, I need to get all these alkables in before school starts. Um, that's just going to be a priority, you know. Um, and also, I think I'm going to get agility level from this, so it's all good. But yeah, that uh, for people who really hate agility... You know, I'm 99 mage, and I know if you're a main who's 99 mage, you find no purpose in alking while doing agility. That's understandable, but for me, if you're an Iron Man, like I am, alking and watching a show and doing agility or talking with a friend on Discord makes it go by so fast. I love to watch shows and documentaries while I do this. It's really chill, and you can get some amazing gains in agility because on Iron Man you always need to alk something. Now here I'm out alking these onyx bolt tips because they give a ton of money and in all honesty there's no reason to really use onyx bolt tips because they're, they're, they just give you so much money and the special attack is not incredible that great but you know that's arguable I mean People say you can use them at KVD and get super fast solo kills, but I'm probably just going to just alk them for the cash because um, they're that's about like four to five, that's like five mil right there, you know, so more or less five mil. So I definitely think that they're worth alking and you can use like perhaps diamond and rubies, you know. I don't think it would make such a significant difference in your kills per hour, but. It's all up to preference. Anyway, so that's how I'm going to start off episode 9. And hopefully we're going to get some great gains this series. I'm hoping to get some a raid, couple raids in before I go back to school. Um, which is Monday. It's two days from now. And so yes, the progress videos will be a lot slower due to the fact that I'm going to have to write a couple essays and study a lot more. And, you know, finish out my degree strong. I'm graduating in December. Uh, so, yeah, uh... Be patient for this video and the upcoming videos, and hopefully we'll get a raid drop. Probably not, but, you know, you never know. Hopefully we'll see some exciting gains in this video. Hoping to do some Slayer, um, perhaps get a ton of mining levels now that I got that D-Pick, as well as smithing levels, maybe even get some diaries done. So let's, let's hope for the best, and let's get these gains going. Alright, so I got 82 agility and I made 8.7 mil roughly in my last video before I had 3.9 mil. So 8.7 mil in alcohols, boom, shaka laka laka, we at 12 mil. Also got a ton of marks of grace, so I'm going to go turn those in for amylase. I don't even know how many that's going to get me, but let's go check it out. I can make some stamina potions. Yeah, let's go see how many amylase I get out of this. Um, for y'all, those of you who don't know, Marks of Grace can be traded in for Graceful. To recolor Graceful, you talk to someone in the Chazine house on Zaya. And they can also be traded in for amylase, and amylase is used on super energy potions to make stamina potions. Um, so let's see how many of these I can get amylase packs. I have no idea. That was just like one agility level two, so I think this is going to get me 
Ba -da 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 so we got 1k amylase. That's pretty good. Uh, I have no idea how many staminas that's going to get me, but uh, let's see. I'm also going to see how many er how much herb XP gets me. So we got 426 super energies. Let's make those into staminas and also check out how much herb XP this gets me. I'll be right back after that's done. From that, I got 250 stamina potions, which is amazing. Now I'm up to 524. I got 25k herb XP, which is not bad. So really from getting one agility level, 250 staminas and 25k herb XP is not bad. And you know, um, the analytics to the super energies doesn't give much herb XP to begin with, so yeah, I'm happy with that. For it takes four amylase and one super energy in order, one super energy four to make a stamina pot. So anyway, that's good. I'm gonna get some rating in hopefully, and my next uh, go forth is to try and get 80 rune crafting, so I'm all 80 stats. Alright, so we got here 80 Ruin Crafting. Very, very nice. Um, I'm officially now. Congratulations, you have reached the advance of your... What? Congratulations, you've just advanced your Ruin Crafting level. You're now level 80. I think that makes me 80 in all skills. That's awesome, yo. So I'm officially 80 plus in all skills on my Iron Man. This is a big day that took me like almost a year and a half because my account's going to be a year and a half old in April. Recording. Um, so hey guys, I just wanted to add this on my um, progression video. I got another Guthans body. I really need the Guthans helm. Uh, I was doing barrows. Let's see. Now I have... Wow! I have five Guthans bodies. Holy Toledo. That's a little nuts. I wasn't really expecting that, but hey... It's all good. Okay, so I totally missed this, but I got 91 defense, and I was not even paying attention. This always happens to me. I'm always, like, doing Slayer or something, and I totally, like, don't even pay attention, and I get a level. Uh, but, yeah, going on 678k from 99 HP. I just thought I'd take a little break from other stuff and do Slayer. But uh, yeah, all 91 in combat stats now. Guys, so we have some good news. I'm about to get 86 farming. I had a bunch of like lower level seeds in my bank, like maple and, and uh, curry seeds. And I was like, I need to go ahead and plant those for the XP. They're kind of just sitting in my bank and they really do add up. This is my third day of doing lower level seeds. And I got a level from it. That's 200 and something XP gone in three days of just tree runs. Definitely worth it. Um, so now 86 farming. And I'm thinking of perhaps on my next farm run, making a tree run guide for fruit trees and regular trees. So I definitely think that that will be good. Um, so I, I'll put... I'll try to put that up on my channel if I can, but yeah, 86 farming. Um, I think if I just do all these little seeds on the side like this, it will really add up in the farming gains. So I just got a medium clue casket and we're going to give it a go and see if I get lucky. Um, of course not, but that's all right. All right, guys, I just wanted to put in my progression video that I got the Calphite Queen Head. That is used for a Desert Elite Diary, so that's pretty dope. I think all I have left to do is five more levels in prayer, and I'll be able to complete that diary. I got super lucky, 22 KC. That's, that's pretty crazy, but I'll take it. Guys, I think I'm going to be putting an end to my episode 9. Uh, the big hits here were all 80 plus stats and that cow fight queen hit. I, I didn't expect that at all and I was like, dang, that's awesome. A lot of people go really dry on that. Currently, I'm still doing cow fight queen and just doing little cow fights, getting my slayer task done. And um, I want to post this video today because my fiance is coming in town next week and I won't be online as much or posting as many videos for the next week. So therefore, I wanted to go ahead and post this episode 9 um, and I'll start working on episode 10 if I can. Um, but yeah, definitely I wanted to get 2040 total level, but that's okay. 
Um, for all the raids that I did during episode 9, I didn't post any of the loot because I got really unfortunate. Um, I went about 60 raids dry myself and 60 raids without seeing anyone get loot. So that was about 60 hours worth of grinding with nothing, with no content. So um, I apologize for no raid loots. I haven't really had a choice on that. So thank you so much for watching and please like this video if you enjoyed it and please feel welcome to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos.